Um, this is their newest unit. It's got their best sensor, most top of the line, everything from Pulsar. Um, the last couple days we got out and got to use this. This is a pretty cool unit. There it is. It's got just a couple simple buttons. Lens cap. Um, the built-in battery on this thing we did go all night with this once. It's um, it was pretty dang cold. This thing lasted about eight to nine hours. Um, Six forty sensor. I mean, this thing is nice. I was seeing coyotes from um, a very long distance with this. Um, I've been using red lights and IR on my scope, and up here in Montana, I'll tell you right now, the coyotes. There's a lot of coyotes that shy to lights. Um, even the little tiny glow of your IR, if you're using an IR scope, I watched coyotes just get spooked as, I mean just super spooked. As soon as we pointed the rifle with the IR light, coyotes were just spooking. And um, you know, you put a lot of time and energy into coyote hunting, and for, for them to see some of your equipment or something, it was just time to upgrade. So I am completely off the lights. Um, a couple weeks ago we bought the ATN Thor 4, which I'll throw a review up here soon. But um, this thing is going to add to the coyote killing by a big, big margin. It comes with this. If you don't have like a bag or something, it comes with this. You can throw this over your shoulder um, so you don't lose this thing at night. I would definitely have it tethered to something. I am using... Reese Outdoors. This is their um, their night pack, their night shift. Holds all your calls. But it's actually, it has a really nice divider. So you, whatever um, thermal monocular you're using, whether it's this one or a different one, you can take this out. It's a super powerful Velcro and adjust it to however big it is. But this is my thermal monocular. Um, it fits in there just perfectly. Put it in there. And then this actually has a buckle, make sure it doesn't get lost. Um, a lot of these thermal monoculars are two thousand dollars and up. This Pulsar, this new Helion two, was four grand. So definitely don't want to lose that guy. But anyways, um, I'm gonna throw some clips in here of uh, coyotes shining to some lights and just um, a couple quick videos with the Helion two. Um, they are getting converted off my cell phone, so the videos do not show whatsoever like what you're looking through on this thermal monocular. This thing is crystal clear, and I have no problem um, telling what that animal is I'm looking at, whether it's a cow, a horse. I was seeing cows from miles and miles away with this. Um, coyotes were just crystal clear. I'll throw a couple videos in, but um, we got a coyote derby coming up, so be shooting a lot of coyotes and um, you know some good stuff happening to the channel so have a good one I'm gonna throw some videos in right now